All right, so we're back in the barn now. This is our uh, our test test station here. We've got uh, some some of that sawdust that comes off our processor, and we uh, shovel that in. I had a system to feed the uh, thing, but that's the uh, this is our our uh, gasifier for the, uh, for the that burns the sawdust. It's made by Hearn Iron Works out uh, out west, and it's a uh, uh, McConifer number 12 sawdust burner and it measures about uh, 20 inches across 22 inches across 20 inches tall and about 29 inches long for the main part of the firebox in the back is a uh, secondary air feed for it and uh, the combustion part of the side of it is uh, in back here and it's an old coal furnace which we uh, hand lined the bottom half of it with a refractory so that it would uh, stand the temperatures. We cast this part of the floor specifically for, the, for this unit. It has a, an ash pit underneath and there are two big iron uh, plates on either side so we can access it and clean it out. We don't have to do it very often. It's, this is very, very efficient. It, uh, it can consume a lot of sawdust, but there's very, very little um, ash or, or uh, residue left over from it. Uh, that's the primary opening for the air. air. <clears throat> what it consists of is the, the feed tube. This is where you put the sawdust. Goes down the gravity takes care of that part of the the operation we will touch this off somewhere along the line i did a, a short video before i got this camera on a uh, a little handheld thing but i couldn't get uh, i had a don't understand that too much and i end up uh, having about four thousand still shots but we did have it fired up before here for a demonstration and it was uh we had one of those explosive events. So what this does is we get a, a good draft going up the pipe and it goes into this big manifold stove that we had put up years ago. And that's the, the heat source. We also uh, started out on our uh, quest to find out more about wood gas and efficient operations. We built a rocket stove. Um, and that is a pretty pretty neat little item we uh, found most of the stuff online and went down to our local junkie and found out uh, you know he had some propane tanks so I said I'd be happy to take some of those off off his hand there and, and uh, we crafted this little item here and it works real well so if you want to take just a little chill off the off the uh, off the air that works out real well for that the new project that we have started, and this is a, a work in progress, is a stove that Flash 001 is, um, has come up with. And we're building the fire pot right now. And he and I have been yakking back and forth on how to uh, make adjustments to the thing to run a little more efficiently. But we have the fire cone, which I just happen to have some stainless steel kicking rounds and uh, we fashioned it out of the out of that I have to get this all mounted in uh, in this fire pot and we'll insulate it we do that mixture of I was thinking of doing uh, some refractory that I've got setting over there but I think I'll do it his way it seems to work out real well and this extension goes up underneath, uh, underneath the bottom. But we're still building it. We got a long ways to go. But it's a real neat project. We're real happy to be able to do it, and uh, when we find the time. But we're starting in on our our season of firewood here, so we're gonna have to find out uh, just how much time we do have. So that said, this is our quick introduction. We'll keep you posted as we're going along on this project. Uh, today might be a little cleanup day. I got between the engine job that we just did and this and two other projects I've got going. This is uh, we're getting a little cluttered in here. So that said, have a great day.